Hi, welcome to another video. This is Mr. Chow from EnglishTutorial.org and I hope you are having an excellent day. Now, today's video will be about the English listening comprehension. Uh, usually, I do not post a video related to the syllabus right after the end of your exam. But this year, something strange happened, right? And students are reporting that uh, their LC are getting from bad to worse. So what is really happening? Now, uh, just to give you some context, uh, the LC, Listening Comprehension, is part of the PSLE annual level syllabus and usually is worth only about 10% of the entire exam. But having said that, 10% uh, might sound uh, a little measly, okay, but uh, it should not be overlooked because it can really drag down your overall grade. Now, most of my students that I've taught in the past and I've been teaching for the past 9 to 10 years, just come back and tell me that you know they are able to get 20 and above out of 30 marks for LC. So since I do not see a problem with the LC, uh, I actually skip the teaching for the LC in order to save some time so that we can focus on the other uh, parts of the written paper like paper 1 and paper 2. However, this year something strange happened, right? And <laughs> Students come here and report that uh, they are now scoring 15 to 16 out of 30, right? And there are a few of them, right? A handful. So I find it a little bit strange, right? Uh, LC didn't used to be that challenging and students are able to just score kind of, uh, you know, uh, effortlessly, right? And they're able to get like 20 and above out of 30 without much teaching, without much intervention from, from me, okay? So why are they now coming back and telling me that they're scoring 15 to 16, borderline pass out of 30, right? It seems that uh, they need a little bit of help. So the question really is, what happened, right? We want to really investigate and find out the root cause. Now stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you uh, some of the real tips, right? That can boost your scores from 15 to 16 right up to 20 and above, okay? So watch till the end of the video. Now I've heard some um, reasons Okay, I don't know whether they are excuses and they are commonly cited by the students, you know, because uh, parents will ask them, right, and I will ask them, what happened, right? How come other students are able to get 20 and above, but this got 15 to 16 out of 30, all right? So some of them say, well, Mr. Chow, the audio is too soft. I cannot hear the speaker. Well, which I find questionable as well, because if it's too soft, why did you not raise the issue to the invigilator, right? And surely they would have tested out the audio by maybe standing at the back of the class, and then this would have been a non-issue. And this is a very common one, which I find amusing as well, right? And they blame it on the speaker, right? The speaker has a very strong accent, right? It's so strong that I couldn't make out what he's trying to say. <laughs> Okay, um, well, I think almost every one of us speak with a certain accent, right? Even Singaporeans have got accent, right? If they are playing, the speaker is, a, is an English speaker from, from a, uh, is a British speaker, right? They, they may have a very strong uh, British accent. Um, so, but usually, uh, we can make out what the speaker is trying to say, right? If we, play close, uh, if we pay close attention. Well, this one is another funny one. Well, the fan above me is too loud, right? Um, I know it's making such a, a loud voice that is drowning out the voice and I cannot hear what the speaker is trying to say, all right? So, but I don't think this applies to every student, right? Because not every one of you sit with a, <laughs> with a fan above you, okay? Maybe uh, the motto is failing or something, then if that's really the case, you have to highlight that to the teacher. Maybe lower the fan speed or switch out the fan right uh, and this is uh, another one the weather is too hot and i believe of all the four uh, excuses that i have on the slide uh, this is the most reasonable one right the weather is too hot because there's no aircon in the classroom and therefore uh, i cannot fully focus on what the speaker is trying to say right you're sweating and everything um, but even so right if other students are able to do it right uh, so why not you okay uh, so it seems that all the <laughs> reasons sounds more like excuses, right? And my question to them 
becomes like really right we want to find out what's the root cause of the problem so what is the true reason for not doing well so let's investigate further right and look at the human year since it's a listening comprehension and the year is the two that we use for listening purposes right and uh you can right just ignore all the uh all fancy terms right you see on the slide and just take note of the canal right the green color part of the picture because that's where the sound waves enter the ear right and the only reason i can think of that this tool is not working properly is that you may have some uh boogie right that is uh blocking the canal and uh it's so thick that uh you can't really hear what other people are saying you can't make out the sounds that are coming from your surroundings and i think if that's the case there is really a problem right so uh, you want to go into the listening comprehension exam with a clear canal right so that all the sound waves have got no blockages and you can hear the speaker clearly all right so how to get rid of the boogie that we see on the slide now of course the most obvious solution is to use what we call a q-tip right it's something that we kind of stick into the ear and try to clear out the canal right but then some people say well the q-tip is not exactly effective because you see it's round and you know you might end up pushing the boogie uh more to the inside of the ear right then you have a bigger problem right now you can't get uh, whatever is blocking out of the ear okay so if that doesn't work for you let's do an upgrade okay how what can we uh, solve the problem with right we can upgrade to using a teaspoon right see this is much bigger and uh if you can get into your ear canal i'm sure it can do a pretty good job of clear uh, of clearing uh the blockages right and if you still find yourself not doing well for the listening comprehension let's go for a further upgrade right what else can we upgrade to right we can upgrade to this wonderful fanciful later right we, we kind of use this for <laughs> for steamboat okay you can put this in your ear and it can really effectively clear out any blockages right guaranteed okay and for some of you with really really big ears right you can go for the full upgrade right this is a full upgrade right where you can really scoop out all the <laughs> waste materials right in your ear right and clear out all the blockages right just just don't scoop out uh, your brain in the process <laughs> right uh, and i hope this really works well for you now coming back to the slide once you have cleared uh, the uh, blockages right i'm sure you can hear the speaker pretty well all right well that's not the end of uh, the process right because after you hear the sounds uh, the brain has to do all the processing okay so uh you don't just clear the blockages and you think that oh magically i'm going to score like 30 upon 30 for my lc no right because the sound waves enter your ears through your ear canal but your processing center right your brain is not doing uh, any processing at all and i saw my student just go like loading 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 i don't know what computer chip that they have in their brain and it's loading so slowly that they are unable to process what the speaker is saying and the audio has moved on so in that case of course they are not going to get the correct answers because they did not process the information right so how do we go about overcoming this challenge as well now here are the real tips that i have for you right number one of course is to always stay focused and pay attention right okay simply say stay focused and pay attention right many students just allow themselves to get distracted with their daydreaming they're laughing at something that uh, the speaker is saying right and they get distracted right and the audio has moved on and they are unable to follow next of course is to build out your vocabulary and this cannot be done overnight you have to you know you have to be done over the course of several weeks several months right so for those of you who have been building up your vocabulary uh, you would know how to spell the words that's very important because sometimes at the last part of the lc the note taking if you don't know how if you do not know how to spell the words 
that you might end up uh, giving the wrong answers. All right. Uh, next tip: listen more to English speakers. Right, watch videos like this one. <laughs> right, and uh, besides this, you can watch uh, additional videos from like let's say BBC, uh, China News Asia. Right, watch more English programs. Listen more to how uh, the English speakers pronounce some of the words, and over time, right, you will stimulate your processing center. All right, you will start to process the English words faster. Right, and that's the key. For doing well in the LC, right? And again, I want to repeat because this is so important, right? Nothing else matters if you cannot stay focused and pay attention, all right? So, uh, just try to get rid of all the distractions in your head, in your mind, and just follow the audio as closely as you can, and surely you will end up doing well for the listening comprehension component. So, I wish you the best of luck. Now. Uh, joking aside, we have come to the end of the video. For those of you who are serious about signing up for English lessons, please visit EnglishTuition.org for more details. Those of you taking all levels, do consider uh, signing up for the, the online course, which is now available on the website as well. And again, if you like this video, do remember to leave a like and a subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.